Oh my goodness. Welcome to Jaws Breakers, the scary, funny shark show where we talk about stupid shark horror movies and laugh along the way. Laugh along to the pain. How about that? My name is Brett. You might know me from such shows as Pokemon After Dark Rye or Let's Die, the His versus Hers Guide to the Apocalypse. Uh, and uh, you might also know me from Breaker Streams on Twitch and the YouTubes. But also with me is this person. Hey, everybody. It's your girl, Jasmine. You may also know me as Meteor Doll. Um, maybe not, but I will be your <laughs> co-host for this wonderful podcast that we've got today. Co-host, I prefer uh, other host. How about that? Okay, sure. Why not? I mean, the distribution of work is not exactly the same, but I'm willing to share ownership 50-50 hey, anyway. I'm doing some stuff. I sent you some artwork today. You did. Mm -hmm. You did. I mean, it's not like okay. I can just take the artwork and slap it up together. Like, I have to prepare it. Yeah, well, I also spent, you know, like an hour or whatever time on trying to get Streamlabs to work for our Twitch party. Look, so, uh, all right, that's fair. That totally nullifies anything I was going to say about the art. Like, I like <laughs> the art. The, the one thing, okay, so what I was going to say about the art is I have to, like, cut it out and pingify yeah. it and and then, like, ch chop everything up and put everything. Make it all digital and stuff. And, uh, yeah, yeah, because you did it via real world artistic skills as opposed to digital so but your girl they, doesn't have the digital software to be doing that stuff so. uh yeah and, and to but to be fair your job is infinitely harder because that's now your job because i would never be able to re replicate it and that's getting the twitch party to work so that we could watch this movie and hey we watched a movie didn't we we sure did we watched house shark uh last saturday as of this podcast recording and um we watched it with a few folks over on twitch watch party and at you know stick around to the end of the show because we will announce our next movie that we'll be watching together on twitch watch party um and we will have a trailer reaction to it as well and if you'd like to see us talk about that stuff uh check out the youtubes links in the description for all that stuff and you can watch our actual reactions to it uh and just check out the podcast and all the other podcasts that I, me and jasmine are a part of uh as well so uh jasmine we watched a movie yes we watched the 2017 film how sharks was written and produced by a ron bonk ron bonk Ron Bonk. What a name. Uh, what a masterpiece movie. of a name. Absolutely. And I'm sure like as we do more of these shows, we'll develop more of a structure to it. So like I didn't really come like I, I have a few things I, I, I want to hit on. But like for the most part, we just talk about the things we saw. Like so first off the night like did not go well. We did not start on time. We could not get Twitch <laughs> no. more. I was ready to pack it in. Like, it'd been like an hour and 45 minutes before we got this damn thing to fucking work right. But that's and, more Twitch's fault than in Streamlabs. And we did not get it to work properly at no. all. Uh, we ended up being able to watch the video, but we could not listen to the audio without watching our own podcast. Uh, not podcast, but watching our own Twitch stream. We had to uh, listen to the audio via my phone streaming <laughs> our own Twitch stream. Because but everybody if we'd gone, could hear it. If we'd gone through the TV, we would have gotten the infinite echo. And that was just yes. not, yeah. There was an infinite audio loop and it was just absolutely just, terrible. To say the least, like we also had a black screen problem where people just couldn't see the screen. We also had a problem where it was only showing like the top left corner and nothing else. It was I just- I mean, uh, Streamlabs was giving me a hard time. Hey. I think there's a bug in Streamlabs where when you choose to share your, de like the desktop, it's supposed to show your whole desktop, but sometimes it doesn't register and it's just a black screen. And I had to like troubleshoot for like 20 minutes trying to get it to work. And it ended up not working. And we ended up having to do, what was it? Windows. We had to like window display. It was a lot. And I'm new to, to Streamlabs. I've only used it like three times. So your girl was having trouble, but also I did get it to work. So 
yay me and us because we did get to watch it with some people uh yeah we sure did and i appreciate those people for coming uh did you get a full list of the people that i didn't but i do i do have some pennywise uh, yes and uh Penny mom shark which you know is our mom she was there mama shark do 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 mama shark do 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 Hi, Mom. Um, I think a couple other people were there at the beginning, and um, they ended up not staying because we could not get the stream work yeah. to work. Oh, uh, uh, Lena. Lena was there. Lena, but she didn't. But she didn't end up staying. I think. Um, uh, well, we had to shut the stream down for like ten minutes or something like that. I'm not sure if Nanik was there. I think Nanik, he was. But Nanik was. I think was there. At, if you were there at the watch party, thank you so much for being there. Uh, it means a shout lot to, to us. Shout out to you guys. I do not have even, some quotes. Not even from... one ep- Hold on. Well, not even one episode, and people showed up. Uh, so that was awesome. And uh, we'll we'll do starting next one. We'll keep a better track of who all shows up and give you all shout outs on the show. That sounds like something cool we could do for the show on the podcast. I think we have trouble in general though trying to keep track of who's like well, viewing our streams too. I don't think it's a problem. Like if 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 it had worked out properly like from mm-hmm. the beginning, the get-go, it would have been a lot more easier to keep track. But because we were off online, offline, off online, offline constantly, um, it was just is too much to keep track of all that stuff to tell you the truth. The name ended up being How Shark Take 100 was not 100 tries, but it was about 10. It felt Same like day. it. Um, but I do have some quotes from some of the people who watched the movie, and okay. we can get into that later um, when we go um, deep we'll, down into the well, movie. We'll get to that as we progress with the show, but I think it's important that we also establish me and you for people who have not listened to us in other shows before and why they should give a shit about us talking <laughs> about, like, why does shark movies mean anything to us? Well, um, personally, I don't know about you, but um, I wanted to do this podcast because um, I wanted to hang out with my brother. Oh, um, suck ass. Not to get too into it, but we really didn't hang out a whole lot when we were, when I was like in like middle school, high school, because you moved and we didn't really talk a whole lot. Mm-hmm. And, and I think that when you move back, is when we actually start, started hanging out, playing video games and stuff. So it's a good way to like be with family doing this podcast. So that's the main reason. Also, I like bad shark movies. Yeah, we yeah. saw. Would you, would you introduce me to bad movies? Uh, like the giant piranha movie. That's true. Uh, also, <laughs> what's that one we saw in the theater? Like the first one we. we it wasn't the Meg. It was the Meg. Was it the Meg? Okay. Yeah. But yeah, there, was, th- there was other movies because you got me like this. It's one of those DVDs that had six short films on it. And I yeah. think some of those were. Yeah. Were shark movies. I felt but. like punishing you as a gift. Um, I like those. Uh, I mean, I have the movie. Um, it was something about. Oh, a, a zombie Nazis or something. Dead snow. And it, 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 it like snows. On, it was weird. It's Dead it's snow, zombie, you probably. Yeah, so we'll we'll probably talk about that later on, maybe. Maybe. Great um, film, though. If 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 I, if I look like I'm real fidgety, it's because my I've have like a knot the size of a fist in my spine, and like I'm just very uncomfortable. Like everything hurts constantly. I never know what no to relief. do with my hands, so it's cool. Um. Yeah, my name's Brett. I'm 35. I got two little sisters. One lives very far away and one doesn't. And the one that doesn't, we play get video games together and we watch shark movies. And um, n- not to reiterate everything that you said, but I'll also add that sharks are like the scariest, most irrational fear that I have. Like I'm terrified of the ocean. Like uh, Taylor, the series creator for Let's Die and After Dark Rise, she can vouch. I am a bundle of anxiety and fear when I'm in the ocean, um, especially if I can see in the water. If I can't see in the water, I'm a little better because like, but like if I can, if the water is crystal really? clear, I am bad. See, I like crystal clear water. I don't like not knowing what I, I can't see. I think it's beautiful, but then like, the last time we was in the keys together and this was a couple years ago 
and I was, you know, we was wading through the water and I, it was crystal clear and I could see how much seaweed there was. And there was a lot and you can't see anything inside the seaweed. And then like a little baby stingray flew past my feet and I had a heart attack. It was rough. It was real rough. I don't know. I, I, I actually, I don't know if you know this, but I actually would like to be in a cage with sharks around. Like, I, I would, would do totally it. Do that. I would do it I would for totally the experience. Do it. Um, I would absolutely yeah, do it too. I'm not going like super deep out into the ocean and do it. Like I'll go to a specific. You'll 47 meters down it with a rusty. Uh, no, I will not. And, yeah, you will. Another movie, uh, another movie that we're going to be discussing. I, I was going to bring that up. That's like, I think the Meg is like kind of the genesis for this show in a little bit because we actually recorded a little thing about the Meg for Let's Die uh, when it was in its mm -hmm. infancy. Um, so like that was kind of like the genesis for the show but then like for i think 47 meters down really solidified uh a love for shark movies uh because it wasn't like it wasn't bad like actually i love 47 meters down i think it's a great show i thought movie. it was a great movie too when Fantastic. i watched it i thought it was great i don't yeah. know what people are talking it's, about i just like that movie. it's on the list of of, of the many of, of the many shark like i have a huge list of shark movies um so we're going to go through six in this first season and we'll get to 47 meters down eventually. I don't know if it's actually, yeah, I take it back. Yeah. It's this season. 47 meters down is this season. We're going to get to it. I think we're doing it last. Are we going to do the cold. second one too? Not this season later, much later. We got so much to, to look forward to like uh, so many series of movies to look forward to like mega shark versus insert ridiculous thing uh like terracuda or whale wolf or mecha shark or crocosaurus uh five-headed shark attack six-headed shark attack six sharknado movies six uh i we, mean we might just have to do a series like a season just the, on the sharknado movies the, because... the list of of shark movies and like underwater horror movies in general is extensive Absolutely. And we did so. add a new one to the list today. Yeah, we don't need to get into the minutia um, because I don't know when we'll ever get to that, Jasmine. True. But, uh, you know, we'll see how long we want to do this show for, hopefully for a very long time, but we'll see. Uh, but we watched House Shark by Ron Bonk, who is quite honestly an amazing name. Um, um, he also did the movie... Uh, razor teeth which we might get to and she kills as well as night of some things strange i think night that's the name of the strange. <laughs> yeah a lot of these movies came out way before house shark house shark is actually the newest movie that he released so we got to see his most recent movie and we're definitely got some things to talk about i'm telling you I did not expect half of the things that happened in this movie. Um, I don't know about you, Brian, if you want to start from the beginning of the movie and go through or how you want to go through it, but I do have a bunch of scenes <laughs> that I want to talk about. Um, for those of you who don't know, though, um, it got a 4.7 out of 10 stars on IMB, IMDb and 50% Rotten Tomatoes. So... You either love it or you hate it. Brad, um, I think you loved it. What's that now? You love this movie. I mean, we'll get to the final, we'll get to the final um, verdict towards the end here. But I just love how at the end of the movie, though, like it, it got into, like, I don't, I, I was looking for like a list of like the staff, like the cast and crew on this thing. There's and only I'm, like four people, like, like four actors in the whole movie. Yeah, but um also well there was more than that but like at the end it was like a list of job titles and it was like ron bonk ron bonk ron bonk ron bonk ron bonk ron bonk yeah mm -hmm. that made me laugh but uh yeah the, so the movie's house shark i picked it because it was thanksgiving week and the theme of like being stuck at home with or without family like for the you know because of the real world stuff that's happening and i thought right. just based on the name alone i was like oh, maybe but the, so the movie is a, a divorced dad 
uh, sing, a single dad with his son um, are in the house and he leaves the son with a babysitter. Uh, keep in mind, the son is, the son looks like he's like 16, honestly. He does, but I think- Like maybe 14, 15, but anyway. Yeah, I think, yeah, around that age, probably. She almost gets us uh, banned from Twitch forever. Because for, for some nudity for we nudity. were not expecting. But y- um, you know what? That's something that we're going to have to keep an eyeball on, honestly. <laughs> um, and I, something that I f- totally didn't even think about. B-horror movies are fraught with nudity. We could get in serious trouble. Um, I didn't even, I didn't think that there would be any, to be I honest. I didn't even think about it, but we're probably going to, probably going to see a lot in the future. Uh, Just a heads up, y'all, if you don't want to. Uh, yeah, because I, I don't here. think there's anything to be done about it because we're not pre-watching these movies. We, we're going into these movies fresh, just like the audience is. Like, mm-hmm. we watch the trailer, and that's it. So, and there was no nudity in that trailer. <laughs> well, obviously. But, so yeah, there's a, she gets killed. And a whole, like Wait, I have to talk. I have to talk. She gets killed. <laughs> Literally she is naked and apparently she's on her period and apparently the center of her period blood is that what is that what it was i didn't yes. get that at all yes she was on her she's like oh cram some uh, stupid period and then all of a sudden and she gets freaking she explodes like i i guess she exploded so i'm guessing the shark like had to go up in her or something because she was Ew. just what what did else do you expect about that exploding giant mess in the in the movie because if you had swallowed her whole there would barely be any blood right i guess but out of all the houses in the neighborhood that shark wanted that one girl because of her period uh, blood man that, that, it was the that shark exploded her too <laughs> yeah, it like, really that was did. gross um <laughs> like gore galore just it made no sense. And then it also, no like, sense. there was nothing left of her except for guts. And they're and like, blood. oh, the coroner said it was consistent with a shark attack or some shit like that. And, like, all we saw was, like, the fin poking out of the top of, the like, the toilet. Like, th- like that made sense. That it didn't did, make sense. Like, how did, like, that's what I'm saying. How did the shark kill her? It looked like she had exploded. So, like, that was my reasoning. Well, maybe <laughs> And she just died. So, the fast out. forward him and his son are uh sleeping in a tent eating beans. Eating, yeah. Uh what was that what was the guy's name again? I forgot. I, I don't remember, but like you think they they live in 2000 if it's 2017 they're in a neighborhood. Why couldn't they stay at a hotel? Why are they eating beans when you could easily go get takeout somewhere? It made no sense. He literally was heating up a can of beans on a grill. <laughs> well, um, he was, it did say he used to be a cop. It didn't say, did it ever say he had a current job? So maybe he just didn't have the money to stay at a hotel, Jasmine. Not everybody has money to stay at hotels. You don't, have, they you don't have You don't have money, though, to like not eat a can of beans on a, it just didn't make sense. It sounded like it, it looked like a man who didn't have a lot of options. And I will not judge him for that. That's ridiculous. And you're being very classist right now. Okay. Uh, Frank is his name. So so Frank refuses to let his child go in the house or anyone else. And he wants to he wants to like destroy the house, but he also for some reason like thought it was a good idea to enter into like this some sort of agreement with an evil shadowy real estate company who has to sell this house just to make a quick buck. But he didn't um, want to do that though. He didn't want to. He didn't but want. But he to started the relationship off with them. So anyway, mm-hmm. like the wife, the ex wife shows up and they have an argument, and then like the real estate guy shows. I, I I'm paraphrasing because if we can't, we literally just can't spend all the all the detail like we just can't retell the whole there's so much in this movie uh and then of course like two a couple are looking at like the real estate agent guy shows like just first off those two people brought their dog to a real estate showing to a house that's currently lived in and i've been to like um like i've had a real estate agent take me to a house they don't and to a house that's like still being lived in and what it is is the owner just isn't there while you're there looking at the house right um 
they the real estate agent never leaves you because you, they don't want you you know met stealing or messing yeah, with yeah. any of the yeah furniture. if someone's currently living there um and then also like you don't take your dog to that how terrible is that and then they have the audacity to start making out and he was fingering her butthole which that's the second scene i wanted to talk about <laughs> go ahead so they're making out and she's like don't push your fingers up my butthole there are people outside and then you know the dog gets attacked and, and off screen at least it didn't off, show off screen it. And, you see, and, and the real estate agent and Frank are outside and you see both of those people like up against the window people are like oh then just some random white lady comes out of nowhere shark attack oh yeah I forgot she all about that. where did she come that from so how does she know it's a shark attack is yeah they're she, in the window getting slaughtered all the time? it is terrible so <laughs> and then they come back and so, find the dead body uh, well, that's a little bit later. So um, the real estate agent guy bounces out back to his shadowy corporate overlord. Um, and Frank, Frank uh, meets a shark expert. I'm, I might be getting my events. Yeah, he, the, he found him on the internet and he was going as a shark expert researcher. How Zach, shark expert. Zachary played by Michael Merchant, who does a pretty good like Swede I guess he's a Swede. He was in full like leader host. He was in the, no, he was he German. Was in the, I think he was German. And he, he had the the he outfit was, on with the overalls. He was in full leader hosen because mm -hmm. you can't be from. You have to be a caricature of the country you're from. You can't just wear pants and a t-shirt. Like yeah. If if you leave Germany, you better be damn well dressed like a fucking German in one in one capacity or the other. Apparently, so like. Uh, I thought that was ridiculous. And but. then they go to the house and magically find a shark tooth in the window. And the dead body and 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 guys, I can we it took us a minute to register what had happened, but the dead body poked out the window and the guy's hand was out the window and he literally had a butthole. Wait. Like the butthole scale around right? his this, fingers. Is this our wait? This is our uh, dude. This is our um uh, uh what you call it? This is the thumbnail. This Visual? is the thumbnail. Come on, Jasmine. No, in, get in frame. <laughs> but it was um um I was I was like wait a second yeah it was why bad. Oh. so. So then Shattery, shadowy real estate overlord gets a visit from Abraham, who is an expert house they, shark hunter. They meet at a bar. Was it a bar? I don't I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, they I meet was, at a bar. They meet office. at a bar and they get drunk and they're like, uh, he's like, you can pay me $10,000. Oh, no. I'll go kill oh, that no, no, shark. No. no, Abraham talks to the real estate guy first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he, right. his job is to like kill house sell sharks. Houses. Yeah, and sell some houses. So but then he, he goes to the bar and he meets Zach. Actually, no, take it back. Before they get to the bar scene, uh, we get to see the joy that is Darth Squanto. Um, I guess Zachary gets in contact with Darth Squanto. Uh, I'm not sure I appreciate the name Squanto. I don't know. If, like, I don't, uh, that's not which a... guy are you, are you talking about? The the white haired old guy. No, I'm talking about the Native American with Darth oh Vader. Oh my god, I can't believe we forgot about him. I didn't. I brought him up. And he, I forgot. He is literally force choking Frank. And it was insane. And then a Jedi level shit. It was like, whoo, again okay, right, a right, really silly but but funny but good character that I that I actually kind of I like the idea of this. This Native American who has a spiritual connection because his ancestors used to hunt the house sharks when they were at wild. And he in the had plains. Jedi mind tricks. Like he he could throw you across the room with his hand like this. It was wild. And then of course he ended up dying in like two seconds. Yeah, he wasn't paying attention and the and the shark just went and he was dead. Yeah. So then fast forward to the bar when they meet with Abraham, and Abraham convinces them, like, hey. We're going to go kill this shark together. Now we're into the meat of the movie where these three men are entering the house to defeat mm -hmm. the house shark. And we have to talk about Abraham because Abraham 
is got to be one of cinema's greatest characters of all time. He was like a a, a Yiddish, like a like a Jewish man with a huge beard. No, uh, like an Amish beard, but no mustache. I think he was trying to interpret it Abraham Lincoln in a way. I think in a way. I think, I think that's kind of because the thing. I think he had made a reference to Abraham Lincoln in the movie. Yeah, and but he talked like Sean Connery sort of, and he had an obsession with poking people in the face, and he was just the most insane character. That the more time we spent with Abraham throughout this movie, the more I was like, this is a movie that is. I mean, clearly, it's not just a victim of low budget. Uh, it's not a victim of poor writing because I don't think the writing was particularly poor. I think the writing was pur purposefully bad. I think it it's bad, but bad on purpose. Well, yeah, because if you're set out to make a B movie, you're like, if I'm going to make a B movie, I'm going to make a B movie. No, that's not true because we've seen a lot of B movies that try to be, that act like they have... A billion dollar budget and they like the meg uh, well the meg did have like a super high budget like that's the the meg is not a b movie jasmine the the uh, meg is it felt like it it the is not was so, it had jason we'll statham we'll get on to it later we'll get on to it later we'll the meg later. is a literal triple a big budget hollywood movie we'll get to it later it's not a b it's movie to, it it's just worse like than it. a b movie that's what the meg is <laughs> yeah but it's okay. not a b Continue. movie We'll get to that. Most, Go a back. lot of B movies do not, a lot of B movies don't take themselves seriously because they literally can't because it's a detriment to the film if it tries to mm -hmm. take itself seriously but can't be sincere to the audience or, or sell its effects to the audience. Um, this movie is like, fuck it, give the shark a fucking laser gun. Why the fuck not? And, because the shark literally it, had a it, laser it gun. Is, it is very like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna go all in with whatever I want to do. Abraham was Let's played go. by a man named Wes Reed, and I would be remiss if I did not say thank you very much, Mr. Reed, for your portrayal of Abraham. You deserve a fucking award because it was fucking tight. So they're in the they're they're hunting the house shark, and of course it pops up, and it's the most paper mache rubbery looking man in a shark suit that you'll ever see. And it has an experimental laser gun because it turns out it was escaped from a facility that Zachary, the, the German ran. Ended up being, that was like the, that was like the, uh, the turn turning point in the movie where I was like, oh, gasp, you actually created this shark? No way. And then, can we also mention that that each man brought with him a we one weapon? Uh, mm -hmm. Abraham brought well, a crossbow for some reason. Yes. Uh, Frank brought his old service weapon, a nine millimeter. Sheriff Frank. Which, after you quit the police force, you have to give your service weapon back. I don't think they let you keep it. And we never Maybe get to find out why he uh, quit the police force, because apparently there was a reason. So he has a nine millimeter, and he's like, yeah, this baby here is do the job. And then, and then Zachary's like, oh, look at what I have. I have me a laser gun that will bust a hole through a wall at 300 meters per second or some fucking shit like that. And it's like, but I don't know because the house shark, you never know. Yeah, he's like, will that kill it? And then he's like, yeah, you never know. Uh, I'm like, okay, well, and that's not... A, a if the goddamn explosion laser gun... If the fucking cricket from MIB can't kill the shark, that 9 millimeters is not going to do anything, and the crossbow is yes. not going to do anything. But absolutely. So they're um, attacked. Oh, they, they check out the scene of the crime first before their, the first attack, which is the bathroom. They did not clean up any of the human they guts. Fall, they fall asleep in that tub. They, like, one falls asleep on the tub. Two the were, one, yeah, two of them were like sitting in the gore and like by the toilet. All they did was put caution tape over it and walk away. Like they didn't even clean up the human remains. Is terrible. But yeah, they get attacked and they keep going through. And then they somehow. Was it Zachary has the fucking uh the female house shark suit yeah. like a onesie to to lure the shark out Looney Tunes like fucking Bugs Bunny style. Yeah. Truly, truly a work of of you know genius and madness follow a, it's a thin razor's edge between genius and madness, and Ronald Bonk fucking walks that line. And, and he covered there was for how long was the movie, Brett? 
That movie, it was 112 minutes, and it had no business being that long. I'll tell you that. Uh, and, and for a movie being that long, he covered, like, everything I thought I would not need in a shark movie. We could, there was... He could... He could have probably cut out a good half an hour of that movie. I mean, and I would there do was, that. um, they're in this house. The movie, the majority of the movie is inside the house where they're fighting this shark. And you've got one scene where the, the, the Swedish guy turns on all of them and is like, I'm going to flood the whole house with water. And like, then you, <laughs> like, I feel like, um, like the whole real estate thing could have been totally axed. Like there's an, another, there, there could have been a way more easier way to get Abraham involved with the movie. It felt mm -hmm. like Ron Bonk wanted to get these three actors role, like the main roles in this movie. And so he wrote parts specifically for them. Um, I mean, you could have cut Darth, you could have cut Darth Squanto out and made Darth Squanto Abraham. Like Zach, Abraham is the, is the shark hunter that, that, that Zachary knows. And then right. boom, even and there though, was even like, Darth Squanto did make me laugh quite a bit. And there was like 20 minutes of underwater slow-mo, underwater slow-mo fighting. Like, it, it was just like, whoa, whoa. Uh, we also need to mention that when Zachary, like they, it turns out Zachary's not German, big brain play, he's American, and he was pretending to be German for some reason. Because first of all, Jasmine, if I don't know you and I pretend to be someone I'm not, you don't know, like, I can just be me, and you would just assume right. that I'm telling the truth. You know right. what I mean? Absolutely. Like, he didn't have to do that. Like, they didn't, they never met him before. Like, he did not have to disguise his nationality. But mm -hmm. turns out he's the bad guy and he doesn't want to kill the house shark. He wants to capture it or something. So they dress him up like the female shark. Put him in a cage. They sung an amazing sea shanty. Amazing. Like, truly, I loved it. And the house shark takes Zachary. Oh, don't talk about this he next scene. He got to. He got to. Oh, he swear, as he swear, he's covered in, in shark slime he like wakes up in the basement it's it's jizz and he swears mm -hmm. vengeance and clenches his fist in fury and you just see this huge goop of shark cum just like splooge down his arm it was the most disgusting thing and this know. happens before the underwater um scene like i don't know how they flooded the house but he flooded the house yeah and I don't like i said either. that whole scene Probably like 20 minutes. And they were like, how are you going to hold your breath for 20 minutes? I don't know, but it happened. Um, and then the water, and then like after that, water comes down. They still can't catch the shark. They try to leave. And then uh, the the real estate guy, his boss, the one the one in the office or whatever, he oh, shows yeah. up at the end. He shows He's up like, at the end, doesn't he? Oh, wait, we forgot to bring up the pooping scene. Uh, I don't remember that. Remind me. So after their fight with, in the underwater scene, um, Frank and um, Abraham, they're like, we got to get out of here, right? Newsflash, Abraham swallowed the key to the, to, to the house. So now he has to try to poop the key out to get out to unlock the doors because they had boarded up the whole house. So there's a, literally a scene where he's tr like holding Frank's hand and he's trying to poop out the key. Oh, right, because when he first got there, they ate the key so they can't escape. Like the shark makes no effort to leave the house, but they lock themselves in. It's a house the shark. shark. Yeah, they lock themselves in with the shark and then he swallows the key so no one can escape. That's right, and then when Abraham is like, being eaten frank has to shove his hand into abraham's ass while it's in the shark's mouth to search for the key and it took me a solid 120 was, seconds to figure out what that that's what was happening was, like literally you could see his body like his face was out of the shark but then it was like his body was at a u because here was his feet here was his head and he, like here's the shark's audio, body audio medium yeah, his body was basically folded in half in such a way that his his head could be hanging out and yeah. delivering hilarious one-liners while his butt is being searched for a key. Uh, ultimately, though, uh, 
remind me, Jasmine, like the shark does explode, correct? Yeah, so Frank he stabs it the, with he stabs it with syringe. Zachary's syringe of secret mutagen serum. He's like, I don't know if this will work, but yeah. this the the syringe full of toxic chemicals should counteract the shark and hopefully make him explode. And he does. Which in the end, it does make him explode. And literally at the end of the movie, you've got they end up in the desert somehow. It's like no, they were never. It's like the in blast the radius. The blast radius was like a nuclear fucking explosion that destroyed the neighborhood, but they're somehow still alive. Yeah, they were literally in like well, a typical was alive. suburban neighborhood. And then Frank, at the end- Frank desert. was alive and then Zach, uh, not Zachary, I'm sorry. Abraham, Abraham is in pieces, but still alive. And he's just carrying his head yeah, around, Abraham's picking up his body was, parts. Just, yeah, because that had- He was carrying his head around. It up that that had happened to him before where he got ripped apart and put back together. Yes. And you know, the, the main line of the- the movie was you're going to need a bigger house which is great see, i which love is that great and it ended up uh it's true because they had to blow up the whole house we're gonna need a bigger place. podcast <laughs> yeah you're gonna need a bigger podcast. but um that is basically the movie in a flash um if you haven't seen it I would I would uh, suggest go watching it if you like that. Yeah, things. Amazon Prime. It's on Amazon Prime. So if you got Amazon Prime, you can watch House Shark free of charge. I wouldn't mm -hmm. I wouldn't wouldn't buy it necessarily, but it deserves no. a watch. It's kind of it's a bit too long, but it's a very funny movie. I enjoyed it. I I actually liked it. I thought it was a perfect uh, movie. There was only a couple film. I didn't laugh a whole lot. There was only a couple parts where I was like, did they really do that? I cannot even right now. So, um I probably wouldn't watch it a second time. Oh, uh, I might. Like, if I'm on, like, a date and she's into, like, bad horror movies, I might. Just because Abraham. Oh, yeah, that's true. Dope. Yeah. But, um, Brett, if you could uh, say one thing about this movie, like, what would you say about it to our listeners and watchers if you're watching on YouTube? Bonk. Ron Bonk. You asked me. I you said He's one word. Yes. You only gave me one word. Well, we did get a couple of our uh, viewers from our Twitch watch party. They had a couple things to say, so I'm gonna go ahead and give a shout out to them. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us, uh, even though the movie was a little too long. Um, it, but Tiny Mark, honestly, Tiny it would it wouldn't have been too bad if we could have set got things to work on time. That so, is true. Thanks for sticking with us. Uh, we, we're a little bit more experienced now, so hopefully we won't have we won't as have much problems, problems next next Saturday. Mm -hmm. But I want to go ahead and say, Tiny Mom Shark said, it was so stupid, but very entertaining. <laughs> and IX Pennywise said, I think it is a very innovative plot, unlike any I've ever seen before. I think it provides a roller coaster of emotions, and I'm glad I was able to be there for the stream. Isn't that sweet? It's very sweet. So thank you guys for for letting us know how you thought about the movie. I personally think that that movie was, I mean, for a B movie, it was a good movie. Uh, wow. I still prefer I still prefer some other uh, bad movies. Um, that, I might, that we may or may not watch later on. But it was a roller coaster of emotions, like Pennywise said. I de it was definitely a lot. Yeah, it was weird how that cosmic <laughs> entity... That house exploded, and so did my brain. Yep. So that was House Shark. Uh, we're going to take a quick two-second break, and then when we come back, we're going to talk about the next movie we're going we're gonna to watch. All right, we'll see you then, guys. Hey everybody, we're back. It's Jaws Breakers, the scary funny shark show. If you're watching on YouTube. Everybody? If you're watching on YouTube, it's straight through, baby. Uh yeah, so we're gonna watch another shark movie together on uh this one will also be on Twitch Watch Party. Um and it's a movie, little movie called Santa Jaws, which I can't wait. I, I mean, it's perfect timing for this year. I mean, it's already absolutely December 2nd. 
uh, when this podcast comes out. Well, no, no, not when the podcast no, comes no, out. no, no. It's December 2nd, our time right now. We're recording this December 2nd. Thank you so much for burning the veil down, Jasmine. So there's no mystique about the production of the show. No. Uh, the day you're listening, if you listen to this on the day it comes out, Santa, we will be watching Santa Jaws in exactly one week's time. So December 12th, 7 p.m. Eastern, is in the year of our dark gods, 2020. Uh, <laughs> we will be watching it via Twitch watch party at twitch.tv. Twitch.tv? Breaker streams? No. What? You just say it. I'm confused. You, You're looking at me like. Well, we'll hash this out right now. Do you want to do it on my on my channel or you want to do it on your channel? Oh, um, I didn't think that doing it on my channel was an option. Um, well, not for the first one because I build it for breaker streams for the longest of times. Um, we'll go ahead and I mean it's up to you. Uh. If you want to do it online, we can. If not, we can continue on break streams. We might be Hi. able to just. I'm. We might. We'll. We'll. Do, we'll plan to do it on yours. Um. So go to Twitch.tv/slash Meteor Doll. Spell just like yes. it sounds. Links will be. And in the uh, if you can see the video on YouTube, it's M E T E O R D O L L. I will. I will host Jasmine on mine, which is Twitch.tv/slash Breaker Streams. And I know we lose a little bit of synergy by not doing it on on Breaker Streams, but that's okay. Um, if you want to be watch it with us on the day and the time in question, then you will be able to at one of those two places for sure. So actually go give us both a follow. Um, I play dead by daylight and other horror games like Blair Witch and Alan Wake, and I'm terrible at them. And I just scream and, and cry and be a big old baby about it. And Jasmine joins me on the dead by daylight stream sometimes. And she plays games like the Sims and whatnot as well apex uh i think i'm gonna try branching out into more scary games uh, i have attempted to play some other ones but i only got like five minutes in them because i was so terrified and i couldn't move so i gave up maybe i'll get back to that try some new games i, I typically binge play a lot of um player versus player games um but i i think i'll try to branch out uh you know personal growth is always a good thing all right uh moving on we have to watch the trailer for santa jaws and i am We're... super excited so this is the first time we've ever watched this i haven't watched it jasmine hasn't watched it nope. uh if you want to see our faces and watch the trailer with us you can do so at the youtube channel so here we go i'm just gonna go ahead and hit hit play i am so ready can you hear it okay i cannot hear it at all Oh, uh, we had this problem last time too. Do you remember what Just it was? Just turn the volume up. Is it, is it a question of volume? Probably. Nope, cannot hear it. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. You know, we no, we had this problem last time and- Let's, We're gonna take a pause for some fixing. Uh, you, just, you just keep talking. I'm just gonna keep talking. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep talking. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger YouTube channel. Um, ah, no. very funny. Mm. Share computer sound. Tell me if you hear anything. I can definitely. Fantastic. It is loud. Yeah, I'll turn it down. If you can hear it, that means the audience will be able to hear yeah. it too. So here we go. Let's do it, guys. Red oh eyeballs too. It's a boot. Oh my gosh. Fan, just absolutely fantastic. Um, wow. I thought Hoff Shark was good. I am really, really just excited for this one. This this movie might be a little bit more PG though. Uh yeah, there wasn't a there wasn't a lot of teams. um for the podcast listener, there wasn't a lot of description Contest. there. So what what we saw was like the shark come swimming towards the pier and the kids with a bunch of Christmas themed weapons attacking like it. Like a uh, crossbow, a spear. Yeah, wrapped uh, with like Christmas lights and candy or, canes. Ornament bomb, uh, grenades. A kid dropped an ornament grenade. It almost hit the water, but he grabbed it just in time. They gasped and then the Christmas themed shark covered with lights and a Santa hat on its fin. Red glowing and eyes. And that was it. it. It really wasn't a trailer at all. It was really just like a scene from the yes. movie. Yeah, it, it was like a snippet. Um, so I, I don't really know what it's going to be about, to be honest. 
Don't, uh, what are these don't kids know, doing out here doesn't attacking a shark? Doesn't matter. I guess we're all going to find out together on the next Twitch party. Yeah, and then um, that is going to be Saturday, December 12th, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, tune in, twitch.tv slash meteor doll, twitch.tv slash breaker streams. Um, yes. We will be there and we will try to get be on time. Um, yeah, we'll try to be on time this time. The following Saturday, December 19th, the podcast version for Santa Jaws will come out. So, and then we're going to just continue going. And then after that, Christmas break, and then we'll be right back to it again. So, uh, stick around with us. We hope you enjoyed the show. Yes, thank you everybody so much for listening, or if you're watching on tube, you this is this YouTube. Was, this was the first episode, and I hope it was good. Talking about shark movies. What is this? What is this thing you do? What what is that? I don't know what to do with my hands again. What, you just <laughs> how about this one? You're like are you like a gunslinger like shooting people how, how on your side one? of the saloon? What is that? It's a Korean. It's oh, I mean I love hand. you. Heart it's Korean. Heart. It's a heart. A strong hand. It's a heart. It's Korean. It's a heart. Okay. How much of our audience do you think is in Korea? Doesn't matter. Korea is just having a huge surge no. in popularity. Okay. Yes. Well, that's Her great. K-pop. More power to the Koreans. I mean, that's great. K-pop but I'm just is life. If you do this on on the camera, it's this. do it right. Is this? My sister is making a fist with her finger. I'm making a heart with my feet, with my thumb and my index and my pointer finger. Why don't you take your thumb and your index finger and shove them both up your butthole and then get eaten by a house shark? I'd rather not. Okay, and that's going to be it for the show. And don't forget, this has been Jaws Breakers. My name is Brett. Her name is Jasmine. And smile, you son, you of, son a of a bitch. bitch. God, we'll get better at this someday. Bye.